Daytona International Speedway Dunlop Tire Test 2007. The 2008 season begins today. It's a great day at Daytona International Raceway. So you sponsor this tire test. You bring the factories in. Uh, there's one privateer here, uh, Chris Paris, that you brought along. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Chris is going to ride in uh, the AMA Superstock class this year. And uh, Chris is a, a rider we've, we've had our eyes on. We've worked with the last uh, several years. Um, he was in Europe, as you know, doing World Superbike off and on, or Super Sport, rather, off and on a little bit. But when he came back to the States, he used Dunlop, and, uh, and he used Dunlop before he left. But we're interested in him, in him this year for the Superstock class, and I think we're close to working out an arrangement. We want to come down and see what he could do on the bike. And, and uh, we need a little bit of work done, and he offered to, he volunteered to help with that. So we're glad he's here. Now, when you bring this tire test here, do you bring uh, 47 different compound tires, or do you have a limited number, four or five to choose from? No, we bring a lot of tires. We've brought the total load list for the truck shows a pretty close to a thousand tires, and uh, it's a chance for us to learn. This place is always difficult, so we we bring, you know, we sort of put some ideas together in the off season and, and through the season, really, you know, and uh, and it, it comes to fruition with uh, a bunch of different ideas for for the four AMA classes. I think off the top of my head, we have something like ten different fronts for Superbike here, and about the same number of rears. Um, Super Sport is a little bit less than that. Uh, super Stock is about in line with Super Sport. So the numbers, to, you know, Superbike, in spite of the fact that the it's not the 200 mile race anymore, it's still a tough course, a very tough course for Superbikes, and it's very hard on tires. So anything we can do to get the faster race and a and a, uh, a race where the tire temperatures are in control and the guys get to the uh, end of the race with no problems is what we want to do. You know? Are you dealing with <coughs> multiple compounds on each side of the tire because of what the banking does to the left side versus it doesn't do anything to the right side? Yeah, that's right. I mean, all the tires, it's sort of taken, I guess, taken for granted, certainly among our ranks, that the tires are multi-compound tires, both fronts and rears now. And uh, the rears are uh, almost all, some are doubles, some are triples, some are, you know, more than that, you know, in compounds. And the fronts are along the same line. So, yes, the left-hand side of the tire gets a lot of work here. The banking puts a lot of work into the... Uh, into the tires in every class, and um, particularly in the superbike and super stock classes, a thousand cc machines where they're really fast. So the left-hand side requires a harder compound than the right side does, and that's been that way for quite a number of years. Probably 10 years now we've done that. You know, I would have thought that once you were on the banking, you would just be on the center of the tire, but that's not true. That's definitely not the case. I mean, if you actually look at a, you know, at the bikes going around on uh, on a uh, TV, you know, you'll see that they are leaned over in relation to the road just about the same amount they normally would be at a, at a, in a normal corner, if you will. I mean, they, you can touch your, your toe on the banking, you know, and the, the bikes are, they're definitely lean over in relation to the road, you know, so. Yeah, the work is, the work on the tires is just about midway between the crown and the tread edge at, at, uh, in the banking, you know, the work of the tire, the abrasion area of the tire. So. Do you find uh, that you're coalescing towards a tire that is working mostly for everybody? Yeah, uh, we came with a new uh, rear superbike tire, a new uh, concept, and, and uh, I think of the guys who have tried it, at this point only one of the superbike riders is sort of on the fence, the rest have jumped on board with the new design. It's the same size, but a new new design within that size. And um, yeah, that's the hope, is that you'll, you know, you, you bring a number of ideas and you hope that they all sort of drift in the same direction, because if you have ten different answers when you get out of the test, it's you're going to have, if you make the decision for them, you're going to have nine unhappy riders when you come back in March. So the hope is that they'll, they'll center around, uh, come back towards one or two fronts and one or two rears. And, and that does seem to be the case. You know, we've certainly made some progress with fronts and rears on Superbike and super stock too, for that matter, today. So we're, we found that um, we're centered probably around two rears at this point, and fronts were down to about three or four, probably. In closing, tell us why the Superbike class runs a 16.5 inch wheel instead of a 17 because you're making tires for both of those. We are, yeah. Uh, the the Superstock rules are uh, mandate uh, stock wheels. Superbike, uh, we use 16.5. The, the tires are faster. You know, they're they're just they just have more grip than 17 inch. The the um, you know the way we design them, we don't design the 17 to have less grip. We design to get maximum grip out of every size we have and. Uh, the things we do the 16.5 inch we can't quite do in the 17 inch uh, just because it you know, relates to tire volume and profiles and sidewall spring rates and that kind of thing we can't quite do them and, and make the tires fit in the 17 inch you know in the in the bikes that use a 17 inch wheel so at this point the 16.5 tires are simply faster on the, even on the same motorcycle 
Does that seem to be a sweet spot of a number? Like if you went to 16, you would start to lose in that direction? No, I think, well, we don't know for sure. You know, we, and that's, you know, those, that's one of the things about the Superbike class. I'm of the opinion. I mean, there, have been, there are schools of thought that say the Superbike sh should be mandated to the same wheels, 17-inch wheels, as, as the street bikes. But I'm of the, the school of thought, certainly, that six Superbikes should be open in, in virtually every regard. Um, if you look at MotoGP, there's certainly, uh, uh, we use 16 point, 16 inch wheels in front and rear this year, and so did, uh, I think the other major tire companies also. So there's probably a gain to be had there as well. Now, does that mean 15s are going to be better? You know, who knows? You know, we haven't gone there yet, you know? So that's a good question, but, uh, there's, you could probably make a case for having a look at it anyway.